in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back Southwest Florida to the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. We are here covering the Diversity Fest at Hodges University 2015. And what a wonderful festival it is. The crowd is coming out. The weather is cool. People are performing, all races, all ethnic groups, all ages. We even have somebody here who's a veteran who has a dog with them. We got the Home Depot person in a blue shirt. We're going to find out why she's got a blue shirt and everybody else is in orange. All that's happening on Lee Pitts Live. What's your name? Deborah Giddis. Deborah, why do you have the blue shirt? I'm the project specialist. That's, that distinguishes you? I guess so. Okay, tell, <laughs> tell us you got the classic orange in the closet somewhere, though. I do. I have an apron. I have my patches on it. Tell us about, uh, and I want you to look into that camera, tell us how Home Depot works closely with the veterans and what programs you oh, have. Home Depot is dedicated to veterans. Our store on Airport in Davis actually is uh, kind of known as the store for the veterans. But uh, what we do is we help veterans. They come to us if they need assistance with their homes in any way. And Home Depot donates materials. And the Home Depot associates, the staff, donate our time. And we go and we build the wheelchair ramps. We clean things out, you know, safety bars, fencing, whatever it is that they they need. And I read a story somewhere, it was a business magazine during my banking days that said that Home Depot is real big on hiring people from the military because oh. they're great employees. Absolutely. We have a lot of veterans at all of the stores working. We give them priority hiring. They bring a lot of skills, a lot of life experience, and that's what we need at Home Depot. All right, keep up the good work. Let's come over here and meet a veteran. First of all, I want, you to, I want to thank you for being a veteran and serving our country, okay? Thank you, sir. All right, what's your name? David Moore. David, first of all, tell us about this dog you got with it. That related to the veterans. Tony, get a shot of that dog and come back up. Go ahead. Sure, this is Charlie. He's a nine-month-old Shepherd Lab mix. I actually got him from Deborah and her daughter. Uh, he's my service dog for PTSD. And I've only had him for about a month and a half, but he's been working miracles for me. Talk about how Home Depot has uh, uh, made life better for you and, and, and other veterans. Um, just being associated, knowing that they got your back and they're willing to come out there and help your home, you know, help adjust it so it can fit your needs. And it's, you know, they just do amazing things for veterans. It's, you know, they cover a wide range of things for us and we really appreciate it. Now, you guys have a booth out here today. Are you educating some people today? Uh, yes, we're with the Home Depot booth as of right now. And because, you know, she's the, she runs the House for Veterans program. And it's, you know, we're just spreading the word, hoping other veterans come out and get some assistance. Great. Well, how do you feel when you hear when you hear such positive uh, conversation about what Home Depot is doing with the veterans? Well, it fills my soul. Um, I work there. I like the work. They treat us very well as associates, but it makes you glad to work there. You feel good. You come in every morning and know that you're helping veterans, helping people, making things, building things, jerry-rigging things. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get another veteran over here. Can you have her to come and take your spot while she's coming over here? If she comes, we're trying to get another one over here. We're on air. Come on out right now. We're on air. We need you. We need you, Erica. Come on, Erica. Ooh, am I safe? Erica, get right here quickly, quickly. Camera's running. TV time. Okay, Erica, tell us uh, uh, about your relationship with uh, Home Depot and how you're enjoying it. Uh, loving it. What are some things you guys do? Talk to me. Uh, uh, well, what, what, what do you mean? How does Home Depot and the veterans work together? Oh, well, um, they do a lot for the veterans. So uh, you just you tell them your needs, and they come over right away. And uh, you know they look at everything, and then they go back and organize it, and then and then they send people out and they they fix it. Okay, look into that camera and tell the other veterans to take advantage of your your relationship with Home Depot. Uh, if you don't take advantage of the Home Depot thing, you're crazy. Because uh, it's it's uh, like a it's like a gift, you know, like that TV show uh, where they give away homes and redo your homes and stuff. It's the same concept, and you know, living on a fixed income, you know, it's it's tough sometimes when something breaks and you just can't afford to get it fixed. And so Home Depot comes along and you know just makes your life a little more stress-free. Okay, what arm of the military did you serve in? I served in, in two. Uh, I started off with the Air Force in Desert Storm, and then I joined the Army at 37 years old. Okay. And uh, I went to Iraq. And um, well, no. Thanks for serving our country. Tell us about this dog right here, what he represents, or she. He. This is uh, Titan, and uh, he's my service dog. Um, and I am just so lucky because by going to uh, the uh, house for veterans 
Um, that's how I got to meet Deborah, and uh, she told me about the Home Depot plan or project. And um, yeah, so I I finally am getting the training that I need for him to to make him an official service dog. Outstanding, Deborah. How does it feel again when you hear people talk about the great work that you and people at Home Depot are doing with the veterans? It makes me happy, and I just want to say to all veterans, thank you for your service from myself, from Home Depot, and from everybody in the United States. The people out there want to reach out to you. Is there a phone number they can call? Um, just call me at Home Depot on the airport pulling in Davis. You can reach me. They'll call me overhead, and I'll come to the phone. Ask for the redhead. Ask for the redhead. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah, good well done. There you go.